Hey, this is Elijah from the Oxygen team, and in today's video, I'm excited to show you what's new in Oxygen 4.9. The biggest new thing we've added is a right-click context menu. You can see I've just right-clicked this heading, and I have the option to copy, paste, duplicate, delete, rename, export. We can also jump straight to the elements conditions, which is super convenient. We can hide the element in the viewport, this is the same as the hide option in the structure panel. We can also make an element reusable or wrap it with a div. So let's go ahead and rename this hero heading two, and then let's add a condition to it. We're gonna go ahead and make it only show if the user is logged in, and then we will copy and paste it and add one that shows when the user is logged out. So we'll update the conditions here, false. So as you can see, this right-click menu really does streamline the workflow and will save you quite a few clicks in many cases. The right-click context menu also works on the structure panel. So we can right-click elements here and perform the same actions. Let's go ahead and get rid of this extra heading. The next two changes are to do with the advanced query option for our post loop elements. If we go down to our easy posts here, it's important to note that we're currently editing a CPT archive for a post type called venues. In 4.9, we can use the advanced query to change some things about this query while keeping the default post type returned. So before, if you had added any advanced query and didn't define a post type, you would end up showing posts instead of the post type you probably want. Well, now we can do something like add a name parameter for the post and add a value of public park. Now what this will do is it'll only return posts that match that part of the query, but it's still looking for the default post type of this archive, which means if we were to switch back to say our blog posts index and there was a post with the same title, it would work there as well. So let's go ahead and switch our previewing to our blog posts. And now you can see that we're returning blog posts, but our advanced query is still filtering them down. Now it's important to note that any modification of the default query can have some side effects when it comes to pagination. So you'll definitely need to be mindful of that. But if you're showing a specific number of posts on your archives and just need to make a slight adjustment without overriding the post type, the advanced query now defaults to that behavior. And you can now add arbitrary custom query parameters using the advanced query option. This can be useful for things like WP Grid Builder where they want you to have a special query parameter to identify the query that's being filtered. So that covers the main headline changes in Oxygen 4.9. We've also included a number of tweaks and bug fixes, so be sure to check the change log for those. Again, this is Elijah with the Oxygen team, and thank you very much for watching.